When it comes to TMC exam questions, a lot of times they will give you the patient's ventilator settings and their ABG results. It will be up to you to interpret the information that is given and make the proper changes if needed. In this video, we're going to walk you through one of those practice questions so that you can get an idea of what to look for when you take the actual TMC exam. So if you're ready, let's see if you can come up with the correct answer. A 58-year-old post-operative male who weighs 172 pounds is receiving volume control assist control ventilation with the following settings. Rate of 16 breaths per minute, tidal volume of 550 milliliters, and FIO2 of 40%. His ABG results are as follows. pH of 5.1, PACO2 of 30, bicarb of 23, base excess of negative 1, PAO2 of 117, and an SAO2 of 99%. Based on this information, which of the following would you recommend? A. Discontinue mechanical ventilation. B. Administer IV bicarbonate. C. Increase the peak flow setting. Or D. Decrease the minute ventilation. Do you know the correct answer? Let's break it down. The first thing you need to do is interpret the ABG results. The pH is increased, the PACO2 is decreased, and the bicarb is normal. This can be interpreted as acute respiratory alkalosis. Since the PACO2 level is decreased, it means that the patient is blowing off too much CO2. In other words, they are hyperventilating. So in order to correct the problem, we need to increase the PACO2. And to do so, you must decrease the minute ventilation. Now in general, there are two ways to decrease the minute ventilation. You can either decrease the rate or decrease the tidal volume. To take it one step further, you can use the patient's ideal body weight to determine if the tidal volume is set appropriately. So we would say 172 pounds divided by 2.2, which would give you an ideal body weight of 78 kilograms. And at that weight, a set tidal volume of 550 milliliters is within the appropriate range. And this tells us that in order to decrease the minute ventilation, we would need to decrease the set rate. None of the other answer choices really make sense in this situation either. So by taking everything given to us in the question and breaking it all down, we could determine that the correct answer has to be D. Decrease the minute ventilation. Well, what'd you think? Was it helpful going through this practice question? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the promotion that's going on by using the special link. I'll drop it right below this video down in the description. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. I will drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.